Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to create EC2 instance using Ansible. For this task you will need Python, Python's Boto library and Ansible installed on your machine. Also make sure you have your AWS access key ID and AWS secret key. So step one would be create your .boto file inside home directory. So I have already created this boto file and this file should look like this. So first line will be in square bracket credentials and then your key and your secret access key. Now let's take a look at our Ansible playbook. So this is our Ansible playbook which is we are going to use for creation of EC2. So first this is aws underscore ec2 dot yaml file. This is the main file. In this file I have mentioned host local host as we are going to run this playbook on our local host and it's calling role ec2. This role is having ansible task for your ec2 creation. So if you see there is a roles directory inside that there is ec2 directory so this name ec2 and this name which you have mentioned under roles should match so you can give any name for understanding purpose i am mentioning it as a ec2 so in, inside ec2 there is actual task so this task directory contain main.yaml and main.yaml is having our actual ansible code for ec2 creation so this this is your task so name of the task is create instances and we are using ansible ec2 module so to get more information about this ec2 module you can search for ansible ec2 in the internet and there is ansible documentation for this so they have mentioned all the required parameters uh, all the available parameters also they are given some examples for this so in this parameter section there is a required column in this they are mentioned which parameters are required so whatever is required is mentioned with yes and those are compulsory parameters for example this AMI ID then type of the instance so these are the required parameters so in our ansible playbook so i have taken all those required parameters as well as some other important parameters which are needed for ec2 instance so ansible's module takes parameters in a key value format so this is your key and this will be your value for example region is a key and value can be eu, EU west one or any region whichever you want so you can give the values as it is here like hard coded but it's not a best practice so i am i have variableized all the values and all the values i have mentioned in a group wars directory so there is file name called all inside group wars so this all file contains all the required values which we need for ec2 creation so this directory structure so i am following ansible page practices uh, for directory layout so if you search uh, for best practices ansible you will get this ansible document so they have mentioned all the best practices so inside that click on directory layout so i am following this directory structure then let's go back to our yaml file so first parameter is region so it's a region is we are using is eu west one then next one is key pair 
so this key pair we need for accessing our EC2 instance so make sure you have your key pair downloaded then tags it can be your instance name then or role like web server or database server you can mention all your tags inside this then image this is AMI ID then instance type so I am taking instance type as a T2 micro I am using free tier instance for this then profile name if you if you need profile instance profile for your newly created instance mention the profile name here then security group then subnet ID in which subnet you need your EC2 then if you need public IP then mention here so assign public IP then the private IP now let's take a look on the variables so I have given all the values inside the variable file now let's run this ansible playbook so command is ansible playbook hyphen i is for your inventory path then your aws ec2.yaml is the main file so let me show you this inventory file so i in this inventory file you can mention your all the host on which you want your, your code to be run but as we are creating ec2 instance I, I i'll be running this ansible playbook on localhost so i mentioned only localhost here now i'm running this it will take some time so now it's creating ec2 instance so let's go back to our aws console let's see how it looks yeah so this is our ec2 instance it's now in initializing state and in my variable section i have mentioned public ip yes so i have this public ip now our instance is in running instance so let's try to ssh so i have logged into our new ac2 instance and let me show you how actual ansible output looks like so this is how it looks like so Ansible playbook which I use is a basic one so you can always make improvements and add, add tasks to it as per your requirement so thank you for watching this video